Hi, I'm Dan Walleen, a cloud developer advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get started with Azure Static Web Apps. This is one of the more exciting services, one of my personal favorites, because let's face it, whether you're building just standalone apps or standalone apps that also need to be put in something like Teams, you need a way to host some of those apps. Now, maybe you're using Angular, React, Vue, Svelte, you know, you name it. There's a lot of choices out there. You can use Azure Static Web Apps to host those which really simplifies the process if you want to get those apps also running in something like Teams. So in this video, I'm going to give you a really quick overview of how to get started sort of from start to finish. I'm going to create a React app. We're going to put it up in GitHub, and then we're going to hook that up to Azure Static Web Apps. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is create a React app. So we're going to say MPX create React app. Uh, I'll just name it my demo static web app. And then I like TypeScript, so I'm going to do template TypeScript. All right, so it looks like that's done. Let's just make sure it works. We'll see the end of that. And let's just go ahead and start it up. Okay, so you can see we're up and running. So pretty normal there, nothing real fancy. So let's clear that. And now what I want to do is get this up into GitHub. And we can do that with the GitHub CLI if you'd like. Or you could go to GitHub and manually do it. But I'm going to do it right from here. So I'm already in the branch that I want. And now what I'm going to do is say repo create. And what this will do is now walk me through a little wizard. And there we go. So that's already created that up in GitHub. If you haven't used that CLI, it does a lot of cool things. So check that out. So now that we've done that, we need to hook this into static web apps. I want to host this up in Azure. But every time I build, I just want it to automatically push those changes for me. And although I'm not going to show it in this short video, I even want a way to have a, a test environment, if you will. Now, to do that, we could use the Azure CLI. So if you have that installed, which I do, it could do AZ and I could go in and do it this way. But I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the actual portal a little bit easier when you first start out. Now, let's run back to the browser and check out the repo first. So I'm going to run off to GitHub. And we're going to go ahead and go to my repositories. And we should see this right at the top since it's new. There we go. All right. So we basically need to get this up into GitHub, right? Pretty standard. Now, I could run these commands uh, directly, but it's already added the origin for me. So if you want, you could do it that way. Or you could come on in and say code dot. Open it up here. We'll give it a sec to catch up and we're good to go. Everything's already been checked in. So let's go ahead and we'll do a push. All right, don't have that right now. So we're going to say, okay. Now, if we go on back, let's refresh. And there we go. We have my React app up in GitHub. Okay, so we're making progress here. Now, the next thing is I want to set up a hosting place for this. This is where Azure Static Web Apps really shines. Not only can it host it, but it can make it where changes to this project can automatically be pushed into production, or you can even have staging or development type slots, we could call them, ways to inspect your work. So if we come on back to Azure, I'm gonna create a resource, and I'll just search for static here, and we want static web app, we'll create. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and select a sandbox resource group. I'm going to go ahead and name this My Demo Swad, just like we did before. And then you can pick your hosting plan. I'm going to go with the free one here, but you can compare if you'd like to know the difference. And then we'll come on down and pick your hosting region. I want to go into West US because I'm in that area. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sign in to GitHub real quick, and then we'll finish this up. All right, so I'm all signed in. You can see Dan Walleen. And now I just need to pick where do I want to put this. I'm going to say Dan Walleen. It's going to load my repositories. I have that my demo swa. And then we have just one branch right now, which is what it defaulted to for Git. And now I can go in and select what is it we're trying to deploy here. Well, you'll see that they have several different frameworks already available, and you can even customize. But I'm going to go with React, but you'll notice there's even static site generators can be used. So if you're using Gatsby or Hugo or ViewPress or one of those, that'll work too. But I'm going to go with React in this case. My app location is at the root, so we're going to leave that. I don't have any functions. In another video, I'll talk more about that. But this is a way you can host your RESTful APIs, for example, up in Azure Functions and make this part of the overall deployment process. 
And then what's my output location? Well, in the case of React, it's gonna create a build once I do a build, so we're gonna leave it at that. And we're gonna review and create here. Now what this is gonna do is, once I've officially hit create, this is gonna to go to the repository that I logged into, and it's gonna allow me to automatically have kind of a CI-CD process set up. So we'll let this finish, it already is. Let's go on back, and notice right now what we have for folders. Now I'm gonna hit refresh, and now look what we have. We have a little workflows, and there's a YAML file in here, and this has all the build actions that are needed to allow me to deploy up to this website. How cool is that? Now, if we go on back here, we can go to the resource, and you'll notice I have a URL. So let's go ahead and click it right now. You'll notice it says it's live and waiting for your content here. All right, so at this point, they haven't received any content for the site, so we can click to check the status of the GitHub actions. Now this will take us right back, and notice this is currently running. So this is actually the build process that's currently trying to build my project, then it should deploy it, and then it'll go ahead and close out that job. Now what's great about this is I can actually click on it to view the status of where are we. So it looks like it just finished up the deployment, it's running a post run action here, and all right, our job is done. How nice is that? So let's go on back, actually to here. Let's go to here, and there we have it. Our app is now running. Now, what's so cool is I can now make PRs or just changes in general. Let's come on back to our editor. Let's go on into our root component here. And you'll notice that we have a, a header with an image and that type of thing. Let's change our, uh, our P tag here. And we'll just say hello from static web apps. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now we'll go ahead and say update title. Now before pushing it up to GitHub, I need to pull down the latest changes that static web apps made. So I'm gonna do a quick pull. Now notice that's gonna give me some GitHub info here. That's our YAML I talked about. Now we can go ahead and push up my changes. Looks like that's all done. So now let's go on back and let's see what we have going on here when we go into our CICD actions. All right, so a new one was just merged in, you'll notice. And just like I showed before, we can drill into this, we can get the status, and through the magic of video, I'll go ahead and speed this up, but it's gonna do the exact same thing, and then I'll show you the final result. Looks like that job is all done, so let's go on back. We'll click on our link here, and we should see our new title. There we go, hello from Static Web Apps. Now, I won't have time to show it in this video, but had I done a PR, that would even give me a place where I could check out the PR and view that. And then, of course, once we merge the PR in, it could go to production. So you can see the Static Web Apps are gonna help you whether it's a standalone app or a standalone app that could also get pulled into Teams, which I'm gonna show a little later. Regardless of what you're doing, this is a great way to get started hosting these types of applications if you have that need. So I hope this has been helpful. Please click subscribe and hit the little like icon if you can. I, I guess I'm supposed to say that. I don't know. Everyone does. But anyway, thanks again and uh, check back because I'm going to be doing more on Azure Static Web Apps.